What's up, humans and freaks? So today what I want to do is I want to look at a passage in the book of Acts. Uh, one of the most important passages in the New Testament, I believe, um, because it's so often ignored. Um, when you try to ask shepherds and pastors where the wolves are, what their names are, you know, uh, who do we have to look out for? A lot of times what you're going to get, and this is the modern day American Christian church mentality because it's politically correct. What you're going to get most times is, well, I don't know. Uh, who am I to, to say that? Um, who am I to judge? That's not my calling. Um, you know, even that's not my job. I mean, that's funny because a job of a shepherd and a pastor is to shepherd sheep. So sheep's biggest enemy are savage wolves. So my question is this. Where are the tears? Where are the tears? Not only from the shepherds, so-called shepherds and so-called pastors, where are your tears? But where are the tears just amongst the Christians who see that many people in the church are getting led astray and eaten by these savage wolves? Because that's what wolves do. They eat sheep. So Paul, who loved the church, okay, he warned the church for three years, this particular church for three years, he warned them with tears for three years about these savage wolves that were going to come in and eat the sheep. And they were also going to be inside the church and rise up from amongst our own people and eat the sheep and lead them astray. Paul warned the church with tears for three years. So let's look at the passage. So it's in the book of Acts, and it's chapter 20, starting in verse 26. And we're going to end in verse, what is it, 31. Okay. So Paul says, Wherefore, I take you to record this day that I am pure from the blood of all men, for I have not shunned to declare unto you all the counsel of God. That's key. All the counsel of God. Not part. Not half. All. Take heed, therefore, unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost hath made you overseers to feed the church of God which he hath purchased with his own blood. For I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Also of your own selves shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw away disciples after them. Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn every one night and day with tears. So here's why I'm bringing this up. Well, first of all, I just want to give a, a shout out of, of um, honor and a big thank you to, I mean, here's just a few names that are doing an amazing job in today's climate, warning the sheep and waking people up, warning about wolves um, eating the sheep. So Jackie Alnor, Joe Schimmel, Roger Oakland, uh, Xavier Reese. I mean, th those are just a few names that are doing a really, really good job. So, so thank you to them. Um, I've been amazingly blessed by the, you know their ministries and what they've done. So. And I, and I've met them, so they're they're legit. So guys, look them up if you really want to know what's going on. And LighthouseTrails.com, look up them.
But anyway, so the reason why I bring that up is this. When you ask most pastors and shepherds, okay, in the American church today to, as a sheep, you're asking the shepherd, hey, where are the wolves that I need to, that I need to watch out for? Who are they? Give me some names. Give me some ministries. Oh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, <laughs> that's not my calling. That's not my job. Who am I to judge? Who am I to say? Man, that is a politically correct answer, and it's not a biblical one, and that's a cop-out. So anyway, in another video, I'll, I'll give you plenty of names, but here's just a few that are some of the worst wolves that are eating the flock today and deceiving many, many Christians in the American church. And these are the big ones, but there's many more. Here's a few. Rick Warren... Joel Osteen, Creflo Dollar, Benny Hinn, Kenneth Copeland, Gloria Copeland, oh, let's see, Beth Moore, um, I mean, I could go on forever, but those are a few big ones out there, T.D. Jakes, um, again, these people are deceiving hundreds of millions, when you combine all their ministry, hundreds of millions of people with a different gospel, a different Jesus, and a different spirit. Bill Johnson of Jesus Culture. I loved, I love the music of Jesus Culture. I love the music of Hillsong. Brian Houston, Hillsong uh, pastor. Stephen Furtick is the new kid on the block who's just typical word of faith, false teacher. And, and here's the thing, guys. I've been studying this stuff for 12 years. I'm not an expert, but I know what I'm talking about. The experts are like Jackie Alnor, like I said, Joe Schimmel, people like that. But I know what I'm talking about. I've been studying this topic for 12 years relentlessly. So I'll give you the articles. I'll give you their own words. And I'll back it up with the Bible. Anyways, where are your tears, shepherds, pastors? Where are your tears? And just for the general body of Christ, the general Christians out there. You know people, you know friends, family, Christians in the body of Christ that are being led astray and eaten by these wolves. It's very sad, man. And, 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 and it sucks because people keep their mouths shut because they think that by keeping their mouth shut, they're being loving. They're being kind. They're being like Jesus. No, you're not. No, you're not. You're being like the devil. God bless you guys. In Jesus' name.